This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. All right, welcome to Coach Moss. Hutch, you want to get us started, please? Yeah, sure, Coach. Uh, y'all had a heartbreaking loss last time out. Dropped under 500, down three guys to injury. Just what's it say about your team to come out and have an effort like this? Well, I, you know, I, I, I thought um, our competitive spirit, um, our toughness, um, will to win. I, I thought it was at a high level against, um, you know, Mississippi State. And I thought we carried that over to a, to another 40 minutes tonight um, to think we have, you know, three players out, short turnaround, back-to-back road games against a team that we had beaten previously. It's always hard in this league to win uh, two games against the same opponent. Um, I think we've played our best 80 minutes of basketball in our last two games. And um, hopefully we continue to improve, continue to get better behind closed doors. Uh, everybody has worked extremely hard. We had a not a good shoot around, but a, but a phenomenal shoot around today. Um, you know, and sometimes when you're struggling, um, you know, you, you, it's hard to uh, to have the energy and enthusiasm. But um, I think the staff and, and the players have done a great job of of continuing to try to get better. And I thought tonight was a, was a reflection of a team that that is getting better. And y'all did a really good job limiting Taylor and, and Radford both. Just what was the key to, to that? Um, you know, from a preparation standpoint, we watched a lot of film uh, yesterday in short segments. And um, obviously the game plan was to try to limit both of their touches. Um, I thought we did a not a good job, but a phenomenal job um, of that. Um, coming into the game, the game plan was to try to make Taylor a passer. Obviously, he did a good job with his nine assists, but um, we did not want him aggressively um, hurting us from from three and, um, you know, in 37 minutes to hold him, um, you know, to, to not make a three point shot is 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 impressive. Um, so, again, I, I, I thought, you know, defensively uh, in the second half, we were we were really, really good. And I thought in the first half we were good, although. You know, they shot 45% in the first half. We still felt at halftime uh, like the game was moving in the direction that we wanted. Um, you know, even Garcia's three ball and um, Solomon Washington took a three. So we had some guys taking shot attempts outside comfort zones that we that we wanted to. So, um, you know, I thought offensively, you know, 207 passes is is a really good number against a team that, you know, it's sometimes hard to pass because of their number of steals, but a team that was uh, undersized, a team that was undermanned uh, in a short turnaround on a back-to-back trip after uh, losing a very difficult game, uh, this team played their hearts out. Jackson. Yeah, Eric, uh, you know, Layden Blocker, I think he was plus 17 and 23 minutes something like that just did it feel like he was having that big of an impact in in real time and uh, how much are you enjoying just kind of seeing the freshman grow uh from game to game yeah I, th- I thought he played really good tonight obviously his two steals um you know in, in in the 23 minutes that he was in he was able to guard uh Taylor and did a really good job other than the fouls but we want him to be aggressive defensively um I thought he was phenomenal tonight I thought Kai Mitchell's right now playing as good as any center in the league. Um, so both those guys were instrumental, but, uh, you know, certainly Layden tonight um, gave us a huge lift off the bench as our bench play was was really good. And, and, and probably, quite frankly, the difference in the game was our bench play. Yeah, and I... I mean, a and had a lot of offensive rebounds, but they didn't convert those too many into a lot of second chance points. Is that, is that just effort? Is there, is there something else there? I mean, how were you guys able to maybe neutralize their offensive rebounding a little bit from a scoring standpoint? By going vertical, by understanding that they were going to offensive rebound, especially when we knew that, you know, Graham was going to be unavailable and we had two days to prepare and we talked about trying to you know, when they do get offensive rebounds and they're inside zone one, 
to go vertical and try to alter shots, try to do that without following. I think for the most part, we did a phenomenal job of defending second shot opportunities because it's really hard to keep them off the glass. It was just as important to talk about defensive blockouts as it was to work, drill, and talk about defensive verticality off of the offensive rebounds, which is something you know you normally don't want to talk to your team about another team grabbing offensive rebounds, but uh, we knew that it was going to be very difficult to keep them off the glass, but but maybe second jumps and verticality um, could help us. And I thought that, you know, the the eight blocks was was extremely important. And then there was probably another five that that were altered around the rim. Bob. Hey, Eric, uh, first off, congrats on, on a great win. You know, Tennessee, Kentucky, Florida all came in here and lost or all came in there and lost, I should say. And you guys, like you say, you're shorthanded. It's been a rough year. How would you guys pull this off? Uh, like I said, I mean, I you know, I know that people get tired when a coach talks about good practices, but we have had good practices, Bob. I you know, um, I mean, I think that uh, you know some of the things that that we do and have done in the past are now starting to sink in with some guys. Um, I you know, I hope that that these you know, last two games and, and the first half against Tennessee, I hope that, you know, that, um, you know, really that's hundred minutes or whatever. It was really good basketball. We stunk in the second half against Tennessee. Uh, first half, I thought we played really, really hard. Look, this has not been easy. Uh, when you look at the injuries we've had, Graham was out the entire Bahamas. Um, he's been out of late, you know, Brazil has been out of late, um, you know, Minifield was a factor in the last game against Texas A&M. Um, that, that group that was out there tonight, you know, played with great toughness, great enthusiasm. I mean, I think you could, could see the joy. Uh, Davenport was playing with great fun um, and a great competitive spirit. So really proud of our team tonight. And, and, and quite frankly, sometimes you lose a game and, and you can still be proud of a team, and and that's what that's what happened on this two game road segment. And and then um, uh, T Mark, you know, I think he scored sixty one points in two games against the Aggies, and looked like his shoulder was really bothering him there in the first half. But what'd you think of his second half and just how he's how he played? You know, kind of really helped carry along with Mackay offensively, obviously. Yeah, I mean, we went to a lot of isolations. Uh, with him at the top of the key, I played him at the point guard position uh, entirely the second half um, where he was the primary ball handler and we had other point guards um, running ghost screens or or in the corner to try to space the floor out and let him go to work. And I thought he was phenomenal um, with the shot selection. Obviously, that big three uh, that he took was extremely important. The, the free throws attempted. Uh, the eight for 10 from the line and, and Kai's 10 of 12, those free throws were, you know, were, were, were game altering, you know, gimmies that you want guys to make from the foul line. So a lot of really positive things to build off. And did, did you feel like, like uh, T Mark showed some pretty good toughness? Cause like I say his shoulder looked like it was really bothering me. So I'm assuming he must have played through some stuff. Yeah. We, quite honestly, we didn't, we didn't know if he would, if he would practice, last couple of days or play. I mean, he's been uh, getting with, uh, you know, our trainer. Um, I'm usually one of the first ones in the building now since I work out in there. And I, he's been in there a lot of late. Um, he's playing through pain. Um, he's doing it for the betterment of the team, but it, it, it's, it's, it's been bothering for, for quite some time. And then we talked about the rebound, but you guys outscored the Aggies 19 to seven on second chance points. I mean, you know, that just doesn't happen because they rebound so well. Uh, what'd you think of that stat? Well, we, you know, we talked, we drilled, we, you know, zone one scoring is, is, is vital uh, for us um, with the makeup of our team. And I thought that, you know, although we only had 11 offensive rebounds, we did do a, an excellent job of converting around the rim um on offensive rebounds we got to do a better job converting around the rim off the dribble um which that'll be another area but some of the stuff that we've struggled with you know we, we haven't been a high steel team now all of a sudden we're getting steel so i think there's some some real positives to build off um 
you know, there's not a lot of teams that when you struggle, keep getting better. Um, and we'll see. We'll see how we'll see how we we do in this two game homestand. Um, but certainly uh, staff players feel like there's there's been great progress of late. So I've got one more. Um, Makai, he's, you know, back to back career highs and really pretty good for about the last seven or eight games outside of Tennessee. Um, what do you think has been the key to that? And can he can he sustain this kind of play? Well, we certainly hope he can sustain it, Bob. We need him to sustain it. He's playing as well as any center in the SEC. He's been extremely focused. Uh, there's been no distractions with his with his uh, minutes out there. We're, we're really relying on him. He's coming off the bench tonight. He played 33 minutes off the bench. Basically, both halves sat for about three minutes and then went the duration the last 17 minutes of both halves. We did not sub much at all down the stretch. I thought that group did a great job, uh, played focused, uh, didn't play tired. Um, huddles were awesome. Guys talking about how to win. Um, halftime, the guys were super, super engaged um, on on some player evaluation stuff that we needed to improve on. And, um, you know, so really proud of, of how Kai and, and that whole group was that, that was out there tonight. Hey, th thanks, Eric. Thanks. Bob. Anthony. Yeah, you've mentioned a couple of times, you know, the depth with, you know, three guys out. You also had to contend with a lot of foul trouble. I think everybody who played for you guys tonight had three or more fouls. Can you just talk about from, you know, your perspective, how do you kind of handle that? And how did you kind of see the team kind of, I guess, come over that? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, maybe that's, you know, that probably factored in why we lost the other night is, I mean, we had so many guys out down the stretch when we needed a basket, um, you know, that last 45 seconds. And um, look, we're, you know, we we recognize that we haven't been a team that's created enough uh, offense through our defense. We've been super focused, laser focused on trying to create more steals on trying to have more defensive activity. And when you do that, it could, it can lead to some foul trouble. So, um, you know, that's one of the things that, that, we want to continue to get better at defending without following, but also trying to create more steals and, and, you know, tonight, um, you know, causing 12 turnovers and, and, and us with the, uh, with the number of steals we had at seven and we've done a good job of late of doing that. And we need to continue that. And then just kind of talking about it from, you know, your guys' perspective as coaches, you know, when you lose some tough games, like you have, you know, confidence can become an issue. How do you guys make sure that, you know, the players maintain their confidence and kind of, can build on you know results like this. Well, you get back in the gym and and you show the guys that that you believe in them by by how you prepare. Um, you know the staff's done a great job of having incredible energy. Um, you know the assistant coaches and the support staff and and uh, certainly the graduate assistants. Those guys have done a incredible job during difficult stretches of of uh, you know we 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 send individual clips to guys we. Uh, have great film sessions and, and um, yep, it's been a struggle for sure. Um, team is battling, team is competing. And I, and I, I feel like we are getting better as a team. So like I said, we'll see what happens over this two game homestand and see if we can uh, continue to build and improve as a, as a unit. Jackson, you got one? Yeah, just one more. Uh, KB tonight, uh, you know, he was three for 15 from the field, but he, he played 35 minutes, did a lot of little things. I mean, when he has missed shots in the past, maybe he hasn't gotten that kind of minutes. What is he doing to make sure he's you know staying on the floor and having a positive impact? Well, I think, you know, we're, we're as a group, we're playing uh, with toughness. And, and uh, you know, I've made a decision to go with a certain group of guys. Um, and you know, I, one thing is, is the steals. I mean, he, tonight he had two steals, you know, two of our seven. So that defensive activity, his ability to draw free throws attempted tonight, he went to the line, uh, 10 times. And so, um, you know, and with players being out, you know, that, that opens up opportunities to Jackson. Cause we, you know, <laughs> I mean, we, we got three guys that, that play you know, pretty significant minutes. So that means somebody else is going to get those minutes. And, and certainly uh, KB's done a good job, although he struggled tonight um, offensively from the field. He did a great job um, from the foul line. Thanks, coach. Thanks, you guys. 
Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.